I think our, our team's ability to adjust to different situations. We have been trying out some different lineups, just some different people at different positions. And we're always trying to find out what the absolute best lineup, best rotation, and sometimes you have to mix things up to do that. And so our team did a good job working through kind of the stages of being uncomfortable and then putting good performances together. I think what Karin does really well is just she, she rarely takes a bad swing. And I was noticing this morning as I was putting in my, my votes for Conference Player of the Week that she didn't have a single error all last week. <laughs> didn't have a single error. I mean, that's really unusual. And I think she had 19 kills, 41 attempts, something like that with no errors. And, and that's just remarkable. And that's a sign of a mature player that, you know, maybe she doesn't get a kill every time, but she's rarely going to make just a really silly decision out there. And so it's good to be able to count on that. And of course, she's a great blocker. You know, we all know that. She had one match, she had 10 blocks this weekend, one match, she had eight. And those are big numbers for four set matches. So I think it's just the maturity that you, you know what you're going to get and you're rarely going to have just poor decisions from her. It's really clean slate. I mean, I, I think, you know, we're, we're zero and zero in the MAC right now, just like everybody else. And six of our players weren't even here for last year, that they weren't a part of any of that. Some of the players that were, they've now graduated and moved on. And so it's, it's a different team, it's a different year. Uh, we know that we have good opponents this weekend that are maybe a little bit different, different style, a little different strengths, uh, maybe different schedules even that they've played coming in. But we know they're both very good opponents and we know we need to prepare well this week for each of them. Uh, I think Miami's a little more balanced in terms of they get more production from more people, whereas Bowling Green, they're balanced, but they have one player who probably carries a higher percentage of the load, Sunjik, than anybody on their team or anybody on Miami's team. And it's not to say that, again, their team doesn't have enough balance. It's not to say that Miami doesn't have some stars. Both teams have those things. But in the case of Bowling Green, Sunjik definitely carries a, a very big load for that team. Yeah, Mal did a nice job for us. She's someone that she's the first month of the year has been returning from injury. And we really thought going into the year that she had a chance to play some front row for us, that she pulled her quad during preseason. And so we kind of put those plans on hold for a month. And Shelby's done a nice job playing left for us. And what I really like, and I told the team this after our last match, is we now have two lineups that we feel good about, that we can go into a match one is probably a little more ball control centered. One is probably a little more blocking centered. And we can go into a match depending on what matchups we feel like we need to really focus on. And we can put a lineup out there that will help us be successful against that team on that night. Four. I think the real advantage is just not traveling. I mean, I just think we're, after four weeks of non-conference travel, three of those being on the road, our last one being pretty far away, being a Wednesday, leaving town Wednesday afternoon, getting back Sunday afternoon, that's a, that's a long trip. And so I know our team is just glad to be back in town, be able to go to classes all week and sleep in their own bed. I mean, it's just, it's just great to have kind of the comforts of home. I think that's, that's a big advantage than, of course, playing in front of our crowd. I mean, our team loves playing at home. And that's, I think those two things together, it's just it's a great, great benefit for us.